Yaris. I hate these things. Yeah, I have to put the seat all the way back to accommodate myself here. Shit box. Get the AC going. Well, this is a 2010 Toyota Yaris with 14,000 miles. Pretty much as low rent as you can get with Toyota. This one has 14,000 miles. It has a four speed auto. No armrest down in the middle. All you have is this cup holder down below. E brake has an auxiliary input there. Strange place for it. There's a little tray there, power outlet. Climate control. This huge space just for the climate control. Stacked. Here's a radio, has a CD player amazingly. Speedometer up there, that's about it. We really don't have anything else. The fuel. Hazards. Passenger airbag indicator, so. Amazingly, if this cheap seat has a uh, senses someone's ass, it'll indicate when the airbag is on or off. Has some pockets here on the sides. Glove compartment. It's all hard to the touch. There's nothing at all. Oh, look at that. Nobody saw that. They saw the nice fit and finish. There's a cup holder that folds out. <laughs> I feel like I can take this car apart. There's a little tray there. Crank windows. It doesn't seem to have power mirrors at all, so they're manual mirrors. At least on top of the door panel they put on this cloth, at least they had some sort of decency. Armrest is completely hard to the touch. Little holder for the uh, water bottles and such, right there. You can see the sharp edges right here. Terrible finish. This is all hard. You can see the plastic's all scratched. There's one side here, the steering, the steering wheel is thick. Up above, you really don't have anything except for a mirror. Lighting fixtures. At least the back seat isn't too bad. Legroom is actually quite decent. That's the only thing about it. Seats do fold down. Let's see. So they actually fold flat, so it's actually not a bad space for cargo. That's one positive side. Spare tire. Let's open the hood, shall we? <gasps> oh my gosh! It's a 1.5 liter! With variable valve timing. This thing has got to be so fast. Compared to that 4-speed auto, Oh 
even look at this foot. You don't even need the prop bar. What the hell for? It stays up on its own. And you can just uh, move the hood with your pinky. Sounds like a tin can. Some curb scratches there. There's a little compartment in there. Quite flimsy. But at least you have a compartment there, maybe a coin holder. And no rev limit. <laughs> Nothing like a buzzy engine to your ears. And let's see what this bad boy sounds like in the exhaust.